what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to bitcoin daily how you guys doing today today is october 23rd 2020 3:56 p.m eastern standard time and today we're doing a quick market recap of the week and um and that's basically it uh, before we jump into it though, make sure you're hitting that follow button, make sure you're hitting that notification bell, make sure you're hitting that like. We need these like guys, we need these comments because it helps us to continue to grow um, this page. And uh, you know how that YouTube algorithm is, if, if you guys don't engage with the video then it can't grow. So uh, we're trying to build up this community and c continue to spread this free content and knowledge. And get it out there for everyone to see um, so let's jump right into it guys uh, hold on I'm gonna give you guys a second to make sure to, to like the video and subscribe to the page I'm gonna give you guys a second Did you guys do it all right let's jump right into it guys so um, today what we are doing let me move my face out the way we're gonna look at this beautiful chart here it's a beautiful breakout that we spoke about uh, all last week and probably the week before. I don't know. We've been speaking about these for a while. So hopefully you guys have been listening. Um, so the first thing here is this is a daily chart. So we'll see this right here, this bull flag here that we talked about. Um, and remember I told you guys, remember that one time I told you guys, hey guys, make sure to buy right here. This is the buy area. It's very important. Hopefully you guys listened because look at that takeoff right off that buy area. Look at that. Boom. That is money. That is money. That is, it was about a $2,000 takeoff from the point of entry where I told you guys. So, I mean, hopefully you guys listen to me from now on if you didn't listen when I told you guys this. Anyways, back into what's going on currently so as you can see we had this crazy crazy takeoff right you can see here on the daily the RSI is about at 80 mark 79 um, so we're in oversold territory but remember things could stay oversold for days weeks months years it doesn't really matter it's it's a, it's a sign of momentum a lot of the time as well so you have to you know you, that can't be the only your only signal right um, but what, what we are seeing is it's slowing down here right at the 13,000 mark this is where we've been rejected um, the highs that we hit was 13,239 um, over the last few days this week so uh, the big news this week was the PayPal you can now send and receive and shop with cryptocurrencies or uh, it's coming to PayPal in the next you know few weeks or so um, so today's high is 13,042 and the low is 12,727 so that that low is very interesting to me that level right there 727 that's 700 level right so that's a level I am interested in I've seen a lot of uh, price action there so let's zoom in a bit so we can you know get down to the nitty-gritty here so let's take a look here and you'll see that that 700 level has been respected right so I'm really liking the 700 level look when we broke out came down to 700 went back up came down to 700 went back up came down to 700 down to 700 and then down to 700 right so I'm looking at the 700 level now as it a buying opportunity it seems like buyers are coming in at these levels so I I'm really liking the 700 level um, the idea here would be to buy as close to the 700 as possible and um, and and have a, a stop basically you know at below 700 somewhere below 700 so let me let me see if I could just can I duplicate this how do I uh, what if I just want to duplicate it 
What if I just want to duplicate it, man? I just want to duplicate it. Here it is. Clone, right? So, can I can I can I grab that now? I cloned it. Is it locked? No, man, not this. I don't want this. Oh, man. I cloned the wrong thing, guys. Let's try this again. There we go. Oh my goodness. Why is it so complicated? I just I just want to take this. There we go. Damn. I just want to take this. They make it so complicated for me, right? So I think I cloned something over here. What did I clone? I think this one's a clone, right? Is it? No, it's not that one. I don't know. I cloned something. <laughs> I don't know what I cloned. Um so let's let's move this over here put this about right there so at the 700 area this is what we're looking for right so this is remember in trading there's no such thing as an exact number People always want exact numbers. Guys, I can't give you exact numbers. There's no exact numbers. It's all zones. You have to be you have to play these zones. You gotta learn how to how to play within the zones, guys. It's just how it is. You gotta accept it. Accept it. Just accept it, guys. Um So we've touched here in the seven hundred many times, right? Including today. Is this today? Yeah. Including today. Um so this is where I'm looking to buy right now. As you guys can see, this is a bull flag forming here. Um, so it's only a matter of time before we, we get a continuation. If if we end up getting a continuation, remember bull flag, um, the probability is that you see a continuation when there's a bull flag, right? So I'm just kind of drawing just to get an idea of what we might see right so this this is pretty close so um we have a, a symmetrical triangle right here um where it's it looks like it's bouncing using these zones right here uh so what we're looking is for a breakout at some point before this here right so we're looking for it to tighten up a bit tighten his range up and then boom that's what we're looking for right now so the play here is to look to buy in this green area as close to 700 as possible or to buy a breakout, right? So, I mean, if you're looking for a breakout though, where, where are you buying? So that's the thing. So the, the first number to use as a breakout is 13,000, right? 13,000 is a resistance and it's a big whole number. Uh, we like it. Now the thing is, you're gonna get it's gonna it's gonna be bouncing around there a lot so that's the only thing with 13,000 look if you bought here stopped out 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 you know so that's four losing trades right there so what do you do well go to your next uh, the next highest thing right which would be 13,000 above this right here 13,045 ish so 13,045 is around, it would be a little bit safer than just 13,000. So it'll, it would have saved you from this one, this one, this one, you know? So you would only have stopped out once, would have saved you from all these. Well, actually none of these times because you wouldn't have been in there. Um, or the next safest thing is to buy above this high, right? So the, the high there is 13,200. So you would be looking to buy above 13,200. Um, so those are two breakouts you can use if you're looking for a breakout entry if you're looking for a support entry then this green area is your support entry here all right so that's that's pretty much it for for Bitcoin that's the levels we're looking at over the weekend um, so if we hit any of these areas that's 
where we might be considering trades doesn't mean that we're gonna take the trades but uh, that's where we're considering those are those are the setups we're looking at now you know uh, we might or might not take it and that's that's the thing to know that information you got to join our trade group but you could just take those trades you know it's up to you um ethereum so let's take a look at ethereum ethereum like i told you guys everything just follows bitcoin um so ethereum is basically following bitcoin here so we're not gonna just we're not gonna analyze it too much since it's the same analysis as bitcoin just put it on ethereum um now here what we're looking for for entry is that this 400 section so as close to 400 as possible i'd probably do you know under 404 to 400 is the level i'm looking to get into as a support um, and if I'm looking for a breakout, then the breakout entry is going to be above 420 or 421. Yeah, above 420, guys. So above 420 is the breakout entry for Ethereum. Um, and that's pretty much it on that. Bitcoin Cash. Pretty much the same thing. Um, we have this weird looking bull flag, but it, it's it's sort of a bull flag <laughs> um it's just weird looking uh but we've had this big move up um if you're looking to enter here then you're looking to get in probably as close to 264 to 65 as possible um breakout entries here are going to be above 275 ish the 275 276 range is the breakout entries here um but this level is interesting as well, but you might get stopped out a lot there. So, they'll, yeah, those those are the, the breakout entries. Um, Litecoin, Litecoin, we finally got some life, finally some movement. You know, I talk about all these breakout entries, and it finally came through. So, hopefully, you guys entered one of these. If not, we didn't either, so it's okay. Um, looks like fifty-six dollars is the resistance here. Uh, and 54 is a support so you're looking to enter around 54 as close to 54 as possible and you're looking to enter a breakout above 56 if you want to be safe then above 57 is a safer option for litecoin um xrp we finally saw a pop as well even though we do have some retracement here um it looks like 25 cent is the uh support here so the pullback would be that 25 cent range breakout oh man breakout would be above 26 cents so above 26.20 is a breakout for xrp uh chain link same same pattern we have a bull flag here um the support is at 11 dollars 80 cents the breakout range is probably going to be above 12 dollars let me see it's at 12 right now so 12 is not a bad range to jump in right now. Um, the next breakout though is above 1250. That is for chain link. We do see lower lows. We see the momentum going down a bit. Um, but yeah, that's those are the, the two entries there that, that we would be looking at. Um, Tezos, we had the move up as well. We have this consolidation period now here. So the entries I'd be looking for is around 220 breakout I'm looking for is above 225 so a very small range we're not really trading this um, Neo so Neo finally got some life in it um, you know it moved a bit and then we got rejected before that major 20 area so 20 is that area I really like but uh, if it hasn't got there yet then the areas I'm looking in to enter is probably at the $18 mark and you can have your stop below the 1780 area um, and the breakout is above 1880 so that's the breakout area for uh, NEO let's take a look at Bitcoin futures as you guys know we always like to take a look at this uh, see what's going on as you guys as we mentioned before we had these two gaps right here this was the first gap right this is where it came down and it almost filled didn't exactly fill but it 
it was close enough i guess right and then uh last weekend or this week we had this fill this gap right here didn't really fill um so that's something just to keep an eye on uh that's the 11,400 area uh, but yeah everything else looks good here you know not really anything crazy uh same formation here same pattern so just looking for a continuation up at this point cardano cardano just doesn't care about bitcoin because it did not do anything it moved up a little bit and then just went right back down so yeah this is not really something we're looking to trade uh we're interested in a position probably above a thousand sats um down here is just just no interest guys um maybe above 860 but down here mm -mm -mm, i don't like it um and the last one we're gonna do we got a request for gold so let's go ahead and take a look at gld this video is long already so i'm trying to get through it quick um so gld looking at it here looks like a triangle is forming here Looks like some sort of triangle, right? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to move this Hold on. So we have some sort of uh, an, a, 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 a symmetrical uh, triangle um, that we're looking at here. So we might be looking for a breakout at some point. Um, and as I'm looking, it kind of matches up with the presidential election. So that's where, where I'm looking for that move that seems like it's going to come at some point soon, right? Um, if we go to the daily, yeah, let me see if I can tie these up together. interesting um let me see I'm trying to get a better idea of what what we can be looking for here all right so um trying to see where it makes sense here So that somewhat makes sense here. Looking at where is uh let me lock this so it doesn't move. Alright, so we placed the Fibonacci retracement tool. Because as you guys can see there was a big move. Right? The move started about right here um, which was 136 and it went it topped out at just about almost 200 almost at 200 level um, and then it's it's had this this weird you know um, consolidation period here right so if we look at these Fibonacci levels it does look like it's respected these levels you know look at look at it when I was consolidating here finally it broke out kind of consolidated under this level broke out it had no reaction here it just took off and then here was with the rejection back down kind of to this Fibonacci level right and was kind of in this channel until it broke down below it and uh, it's kind of been consolidating up now let me see if there's any connections over here. We kind of connected all the way back here, really. So 
but it's how you kind of you kind of see what where things connect you just kind of move things around and see what what connects where right so so you guys can see here we kind of have this ascending triangle from uh, April that's kind of been playing a role in a lot of these uh, drops as it's continued its way up and it's here again so we might be seeing some sort of move soon as um, as you can see there there is a um, what do you call it it's all retarded it is the most retarded circle ever guys um, there you go yeah I was trying to make this circle for you guys so yeah so there's there's this climax you know where, where we would expect for a move to be made um, so we just got to kind of wait and see what happens here though um, it's been consolidating here for a bit it looks like it's using this Fibonacci level here as a resistance right now so this is just an area to watch um, we have gold gold is always a good hedge long term you don't we don't really actively trade it unless it's moving like this so like in this period when it was doing all this right here we were trading it um, but you know it hasn't really been doing much lately so we haven't traded it in a bit um, so yeah just something to keep keep an eye out on uh, we had someone request that so that's basically it guys this video was 20 minutes too long um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys made a shit ton of money this week uh, we gave you guys a lot of plays last week and on Monday hopefully you guys were able to take advantage of those plays and make some money uh, we know a few people hit us up saying that they used uh, the trade the, the trade setups that we put up on here and they made some money so congrats to you guys for those of you that didn't use them I'm telling you guys we're here to help you make money that's what we're here for um, you know we're here to educate you but we're also here to help you guys make money and we're doing it for free so um, thank you guys a lot again please make sure to hit that sub that follow that like that notification bell that comment we need all of that we need all the engagement guys so the more the merrier thank you guys hope you guys have the most amazing weekend ever I will see you guys next week as always peace and love